Uh, uh, Rob. Uh, soon. I'll join you. Soon. Mont. No, you mustn't. Uh, lower your sword. Please step away, Moshiri. I can't let you do this, Mont! I can't! Then... you want I should... leave him like this? Abandon King Rob to his fate? I don't know... Killing one's own father is a grave sin. One I'd rather you not bear the burden of. But... Are you sure you have time to argue? It will not be much longer now. Lord Mott, quickly, quickly, please. Mont, stop! <gasps> Father! Father! Mont, you bastard! Uh, so, uh, so it's true. You're after the throne all this time. Oh, 
What are you doing here? I was on my way to join Lord Mont at Leona's castle. When? You ran into those people behind you? Right. Are these people not soldiers with Leonis's first division, Forden? They are. <sighs> I see. Wh what? Stand down, little Leela. But doesn't it bother you? You saw it too, didn't you? That look in her eyes. She's definitely looking down on us. If you're so offended, why not try justifying your actions to me? Th that's... You can't, can you? You would've? Little Leela. You would have done the same thing in our situation! If you'd watched that monster... If you'd watched Moraga devour your friends before your very eyes! What monster? You mean Moraga himself? That's right. She speaks the plain, honest truth. He's become such a monstrosity. One could scarcely believe he was ever human. I see. How interesting. Lynx. You don't need to say it. You're worried about your master. Yes. I understand. Go on ahead to Leona's castle. But... Are you certain? I have a decent idea of how strong these three are. All that remains... is for that pair behind you to act as they must. Then we just might get through this. <sighs> What's wrong? Get moving. Could I have one of your flash bombs? Take this. Thank you, Lynx. I... Just go. Very well, then. Well now, it looks like we're down one opponent. Allow me to take her place. Hear that? Quite the confidence. Looks like we can still have a little fun, huh?
All according to calculation. Meet your end. Anyone gets in my way. Hear me growl. This battle shall Come be ours. To help. My power overflows. Oh, I'm nowhere near. Who should I crush first? Over already? <laughs> well, nothing to say. That just leaves two. If you have no regard for your lives, step forward and meet your end. You have no idea what we've been through just to survive. He wouldn't understand. <sighs> Wait. Stay back. You dare give me an order? Just listen to me. I refuse. Idiot. You, 
You were only pretending to be dead. I don't particularly like how that sounds. Can't you come up with something more impressive? Like, I returned from the dead, perhaps? Zazan the Unkillable! Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> gotcha! Looks like now it's time we asked you. Well, nothing to say? <laughs> Played you like a fool, didn't we? Got any last words? We'll listen for you. How very kind of you. You see, people just don't get us. We may not look it, but we're very caring people, you know? <laughs> that shinobi just now. Ketone, was it? You don't have anything you want us to pass on to her? She... Ketone was like a sister to me. Alas, I was sold to Horn, and she to Leonis. It was then that I heard that Horn had entered into an alliance with Venice to bring Leonis to ruin. Which meant you would eventually have to fight your sister to the death. I hid away my feelings. I was prepared to do what I must for King Rob, after he looked past my shortcomings as a shinobi and took me in. But Horn broke off their allegiance with Venice, and now have joined ties with Leonis. <laughs> What's the problem? Sounds like a very touching story. You can count on us. We promise to pass it along. We may be enemies, but... We have the utmost respect for strong warriors, truly. Ketone, was it? What message do you have for her? That even now, I think of her as a sister. So... Uh... Right. We'll be sure to tell her. Yeah, we'll tell her. Right before we kill her! Wait for her on the other side. We'll make sure you're reunited real soon. <sighs> now! No! You don't really mean that. All of your friends are dead now. Don't you think they'll be lonely without you? Come on! You don't want to ruin the pleasant atmosphere that Shinobi just created for us, now do you? Don't you have any guts, huh? I know this arrow. That's right. So it was you. The one who shot at us in the mountains. That was you, was it? Huh? We've been wanting to meet you again.
thought you could hit me. I thought you could hit me. Shall be ours. Break this! Raga? You can't be here! Just run! And with that massive jaw, he... the light. If you wish to devour me, then go ahead and try. Keto, you're alive. Yes. It would appear he doesn't have a taste for Shinobi. Keto, promise me. Promise me you won't do anything reckless like that again. Understood. But alas... I must also ask for your help, Kito. With your help, together, I'm sure the two of us should be enough to... Of course. Your word is my command.
Anyone who gets in my way. Hear me growl! <laughs> this battle shall be ours! Take this! <laughs> Strong. <laughs> Ketone! This wound is from when he nearly devoured you a moment ago. Yes. We must defeat him quickly and get this treated. On the way here, I ran into some members of Fordham. Little Leela and the others. I hope they are safe. They told me. The light had been devoured by Morocco. I see. And they gave me an idea. What kind of idea? There's no time to explain. But if you could keep him at bay for just a moment. I'll hit him with everything I have left within me. But do you think it will work? Just stopping him seems... Yes. It will only take a moment. Here he comes! Bomb I received from Lynx on the way here. And you fed that to him at the cost of. The rest is. up to you. <laughs> Defeat. 
defeat Muraga. I will. I promise. I won't let this opportunity go to waste. You could hit me. did it! No, not yet. I still need to deliver the finishing blow. No, please. 
Odoa? King Moraga does not have much longer. <sighs> and he no longer has the power to command Fennis. I wish to send him off, not as a king, but as a man. So, please. For him, I offer my own life in exchange. I beg you. You mean for me to leave Moraga in that state? I know that I am asking too much of you. <laughs> Mont. Ketone, hurry and tend to your wounds. Yes, sir. Thank you. We would have been done for if not for you. My flash bomb was only barely enough to hold Moraga back. It was you who defeated him, Lord Mont. Mont. I want to be with you, but forgive me. And there's somewhere I must go now. To Stern? Mont, all I ask is that you come back alive. Promise me that. That voice. Lilith, is that you? Lilith, steady now. Lord Mont. Oh, thank the gods. You're alive. I should be saying that to you. Are you all right? Mont should worry for my wounds one day. Who could have seen this coming? I defeated Moraga. I knew you could. You really have grown stronger. You have no need for me anymore. Don't say that. We can rebuild, Leonis. I'll devote myself to the task, too. <laughs> Lord Mont. Lord Stern. Right. I need to settle things with him. There's no point in trying to stop you, is there? No. Ramada. You made it, too. Yes, somehow. However, I see no sign of Belo or Layart anywhere. Is that so? Ramada, my apologies. But could you take care of Lilith for me? Do you truly intend to go? I do. Don't try to stop me. If you do, I won't hesitate to cut you down. Oh, 
kill anyone who gets in my way. Hear me growl! This battle shall be ours. King Moraga. Is he finally dead? <gasps> Melnia! Melnia, please! King Moraga does not have much longer. Now, at the very least, at the very end, be kind to him, I beg of you. Please. That is all I ask. No. Be kind to him, you say? <laughs> to this revolting creature. Melnia. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to the future queen of Fennis. Fear not. You will still have your place leading my army. Oldoa.
Thank <laughs> you.